Hello out there all you keen historians and welcome to another lesson using the Industrial Revolution. Now your first task, task one, is to watch this video here called What Hygiene Was Like During the Industrial Revolution and write down eight facts from the video in your book. Now just a couple of notes here, just a couple of topics that kind of sum up living conditions of the working class people during the Industrial Revolution. So these are really the factors that led to these poor living conditions. So the first one is overcrowding. So the agricultural revolution that started the industrial revolution caused people to move to the cities looking for work and the population to rise because there was more food. In 1700, the population of Britain was five and a half million. By 1840, it was 16 million people. Due to increased population and poverty, working class families lived in small rooms. Employees built inexpensive, poorly built row housing called tenements to use their workers, but also get more profit further contributing to overcrowding. Now this led to poor sanitation. So these factors kind of flow on from one another. So overcrowding led to poor sanitation. Tenements were constructed using the cheap building materials and lacked basic things such as windows and proper light. Most tenements also were built without running water. Because of this, many people were unable to wash go, or go to the toilet. This extremely poor level of sanitation was made worse by so many people living so close together. Now, this also caused the spread of disease. So poor sanitation and overcrowding led to the spread of disease. Here there's a, a historical source uh, or a poster telling people to avoid cholera and how they can avoid cholera. Since there was nowhere to go to the toilet, people dumped their waste onto the streets, which didn't have any gutters or sewage infrastructure. So you could just see it on the street constantly. The most common disease uh, diseases were cholera and typhoid. And lastly, we have pollution. So the amount of people in factories packed closely together created pollution. Rivers were polluted with the work, uh, by the working class through their waste and garbage. And now this included their drinking water as well, which further contributed to disease. The high amount of factories burning coal created extreme air pollution as well. So that's kind of your factors that led to really poor living conditions for working class people during the Industrial Revolution. Um, now your second task here, you have 15 questions um, using History Crunch. Um, so if you click on the pop out like so, it'll bring you to the History Crunch website and you've got to answer these questions. We're going to answer them now together. So number one, when did the Industrial Revolution begin? That's a pretty easy one because it's the first sentence. The Industrial Revolution began in Britain in the 1700s. So that's your answer for number one because that's the only, the only information it gives you. Why couldn't the workers afford food or rent? So again, I'm going to use my best friend to control F and I'm going to look for the word afford. So it's in the last sentence here as well. Workers were paid low wages that barely allowed them to afford the cost of living associated with their rent and food. So they were paid such a little amount of money. Number three, what revolution kickstarted the industrial revolution? That is down here. So the Industrial Revolution began in Britain in the 18th century due in part to the increase in food production, which we know as the Agricultural Revolution, is your answer for number three. Number four, compare the amount of people living on farms in 1750 and 1850. So again, I'm going to use Control F, and I'm going to type in 1750, and it's going to bring me to down here. So for example, in 1750, nearly 80% of the population of Britain lived on farms, by 1850, that number was cut to 50%. So that's your answer there. So in 1750, 80% of people lived on farms, but by 1850, only 50% of people lived on farms. So that's your answer for number four. Number five, why did Britain's population grow so much? Well, that's easy because of the added uh, food. So the increased food production of the agricultural revolution led to this increase. So that's your answer there. Um, number six, what was Britain's population in 1800? So if I, that one's down here. So for example, in 1700, the total population of Britain was around five and a half million people, but it soon expanded just a hundred years later, which means we're at 1800, if we're a hundred years after 1700, the population had increased to over nine million. So that's your answer for number six. Number seven, why did large families live in such small rooms? Now that is down here. I'm gonna use the word small. Here we've got, due to an increased population and the poverty of most working class families, it was common for large families to live in relatively small rooms. So that's my answer here that I'm looking for. So this is due to the increased population 
and poverty of working class family members. Um, number eight, why did wealthy factory owners build homes for their workers? There are two reasons. So that is down here. So essentially this paragraph here explains how wealthy factory owners constructed homes for the working class for two reasons. So this is so they could get their money back essentially by charging them rent. That's one reason. And it'll also have their workers live so close to their factory that they could get to work easier and work harder and longer because of that really. Number nine, why were these houses extremely poor to live in? So let's do a little bit of reading here. So they were built so close together. The homes were made with the cheapest materials available and lacked basic features such as windows and proper ventilation. And they were also made without running water, which made sanitation really poor as well. Why couldn't people bathe properly? So there was no running water in the house, let alone bathroom. So people were unable to bathe. And that answer is down there. Why did disease spread? Um, one, because there was no running water in people's homes and there was no um, sewage infrastructure on the streets. So no pipes or anything or gutters really. And that's in, that information is in this paragraph here. So it explains how people resorted to dumping their waste onto the streets. Um, what were pits used for? So essentially pits, if we go into control F here. So it says here, pits were sometimes established in communities to accommodate the building waste. So this was pits were pretty much large kind of massive toilets or where you would dump your excrement um, if the street was full pretty much. Number 13, what were the two reasons pollution was so bad in cities during the Industrial Revolution? So um, I think this is the last paragraph here where this information is uh, for this question. Um, so pretty much it is due to not only um, the garbage on the streets leading to diseases, but it's also the air pollution as well. So that's your two reasons why pollution was so bad. So you've got litter, um, you've got human waste on the streets as well as air pollution. Number 14, what was the most commonly used fuel during the Industrial Revolution? Again, we'll go to fuel and we've got here, coal was easily the most used fuel during the Industrial Revolution. And that's why um, air pollution was really, really bad during the Industrial Revolution. Number 15, why couldn't the working class people change the way they lived? Really important question for your understanding in this unit. And it's located in this last sentence here. So the people had little ability to solve these problems as they paid so they were paid so little that they struggled to even afford their current lifestyles. So they were paid so such little money they could barely even afford to be some of the, the poorest peasants um, in modern society, let alone had the time or the money to access an education to change the way they live. So that's why the working class suffered um, poor living conditions for so long during the Industrial Revolution. And then lastly, guys, when you finish off all those questions, there's a Kahoot you can play here by clicking on this link. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson on the living conditions of the working class people during the Industrial Revolution. Uh, remember to subscribe if you want to stay updated to any new lessons that I make or any new websites I might like this one. Thank you.